Hi, follow me and let's learn properties of matter. Number one, solid. Stone is example of solid. Now observe any changes on the stone after has been pressed. Hmm, there is no changes on the stone. Next, let's weigh the stone. Look at the weighing scale. Look, the stones have a fixed mass. Next, we need to use beaker filled with water to measure the volume. First, measure the initial volume of the water, which is 300 ml. Next, put the stones into the beaker and measure the final volume of water, which is 400 ml. We need to find out the volume of the small stones. So, final volume of water minus initial volume of water, which is 400 ml minus 300 ml equal to 100 ml. So, the volume of small stones is 100 ml now we know that solid has a fixed volume number two oops liquid first let's weigh mass of the liquid so we need to use weighing scale with an empty beaker mass of empty beaker is 50 gram after that pour colored water into the empty beaker look at the scale record the mass of beaker with colored water which is 350 gram now we want to find out the mass of color water only so Mass of beaker with colored water minus mass of empty beaker which is 350 gram minus 50 gram equal to 300 gram. Now we already get the mass of colored water which is 300 gram. Therefore, liquid has a fixed mass. Next, let's find out the volume of colored water. Look, the volume of colored water is 300 ml. Changed into the jug. And look, the volume still the same, which is 300 ml. Therefore, liquid has a fixed volume. Next, look at this. We have four containers. Pour colored water into the different shape containers. What can you observe? The shape of the water change. Number three. Gas. Yeah, gas. First, observe the size of the balloon before inflated. Look, the size of the balloon getting bigger. But, when the air is removed, balloon getting smaller. Next, we are going to find out the mass of the air. So, hang two same size of balloons. Look at 
Make sure both balloons are balanced. Then attach the sticker to one of the balloons like this. Pierce the balloon using a needle on the part that has the sticker. Careful! Then, we need to observe what will happen to the balloons. Jang, jang, jang. Oops! The balloon explodes. Ish, ish, ish. Now, observe this. What will happen to the ruler? The ruler becomes unbalanced. Balloon contains air look more heavier. This show that gas has a fixed mass. Now, inflate these three objects with air. Look before inflate and after inflate. These three objects expand. This show that the air can occupy space and it does not have fixed shape. Now, look at the shrink. Air is inserted into the shrink. Look! Next, cover the tip of the shrink with finger to make sure the air will not going out. Then, push the piston slowly and observe. Look, the piston can be moved. This show that air can be compressed. And also prove air does not have fixed volume. In this topic, we already know the property of matter for solid, liquid and gas. All these three matter can occupy mass. All these three matter can occupy space. Only gas does not have fixed volume and only solid has fixed shape. That's all. Don't forget to watch next videos from me. Hope you can easily understand and memorize this topic. Bye!